Special thanks to Ultrasource USA for providing the high quality mineral oil. If you're in the need for food equipment or industrial supplies, check out the links in the description below. Dropping the fish. Here we go. Horse. Here we go. We're going to do seahorse first. They're not going to work because this is this water is not conductive. <laughs> we should have thought of that about that first. What you just saw was a Raspberry Pi 3 submerged in a mineral oil using a coffee table fish tank. The fish tank holds approximately 28 gallons of water and there's about 25 or 26 gallons of mineral oil in there. The Raspberry Pi 3 is a single board computer running at 1.2 gigahertz. I currently had that one slightly up on the RAM frequency and then the processor to 1.35 gigahertz. I am gonna do another video where I put a much larger computer in this fish tank, but this is just the first video I want to do because I'm a big fan of the Raspberry Pi 3 and all the cool retro gaming that goes along with it. The most common question I get is why are you not getting electrocuted and why is electronics not frying? And just like air, mineral oil is totally non-conductive, unlike water. Water would do that, but this is not water. This is mineral oil, which is a byproduct of crude oil. It tends to be clear in color and totally odorless. Mineral oil has a lot of different uses, and as you see here, you have things like niche things like electronics, but primarily it's used in cosmetics and a lot of food preparation as well. When applying it to electronics, the only couple things you have to consider, one is if you are using a spinning hard drive or something like that, I'm using flash memory here so there's nothing spinning, you will have a little more resistance as it is a little thicker than water. Same thing if you're running a fan, Technically, you can wear out a fan a little quicker, but I've seen lots of videos and I've run fans myself. I've never shortened one out. Yes, it causes a little more strain, but unless you have a really, really cheap fan, it's not gonna shorten it out anytime soon. With hard drives and CD-ROMs though, that might be a different case. I actually have some I'm gonna test very soon, so stay tuned for that. The other thing is the siphon effect. I'm primarily using Bluetooth here for my controller, so the only wires I'm running is power and HDMI out of the liquid. Uh, with HDMI, I'm using a female-to-female -female adapter to my main HDMI cord, so if there is any siphoning effect where the oil actually goes up the cable and out into the room that I'm in here, that it will prevent that from happening. Um, I've never had the siphoning effect happen, but I've also never had where my oil was higher than my cables. As long as your cables are higher than the oil, it's gonna take a really long time, if ever, that the oil travels back through the cables. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys on the next one.